Hello, pre-calculate student. This video is for chapter 4.6, solve exponential and log equations. So we are continuing with uh, solving uh, exponential equation. In uh, this next example that we're working on, the base is e. So obviously, you cannot write 1.8 to the base of e. So that's what we always check. And don't divide, right? And uh, don't take roots. It doesn't uh, cancel the e. So the only thing we can do would be use log properties or use uh, log to uh, cancel the exponent. So uh, because this is e, so instead of adding log 10, I'm going to add ln on both sides. So it'll be ln e to the 0.33x is equal to ln 1.8. So yeah, when we solve a log equation, or exponential equation, it seems like we're adding more stuff to it, but that's how we can cancel or move this exponent down. Okay, so use log property, so this can move down as 0.33x is equal to uh, ln 1.8. Where is the ln e? Ln e is 1, right? Because ln is base e, e to the power 1 is equal to um, e, so this would equal to 1. So you, you just multiply 1 so you don't have to write it. So x would be ln 1.8 divided by 0.33 and that's the e. And so put in the calculator ln 1.8 divided by uh, 0.33 that would be 1.7812. Okay, so that's a very simple exponential equation that involves e. Another one that is more complex is 4.5 g to the negative 1.2 x equal to 1. Now, the difference with this in the last one is, in the last one, you only on the left-hand side, you only have e to the something. But this has a 4.5 multiplied to it, so we need to get rid of those. We need to isolate e of something first. Um, so we'll e negative 1.2 x is equal to 1 over 4.5. Now, 1 over 4.5, if you put in the calculator, it's a rounded number, so we decide not to not to do it, wait until later. So, and then we add ln on both sides. e to the negative 1.2x is equal to ln 1 over 4.5. And then because of log property, we can move it outside, negative 1.2x times ln g, which is 1, right? equal to ln, this ln is stay there. You don't have ln e, so it stay. So, but this is no ln anymore. So x would equal to ln 1 over 4.5 divided by negative 1.2. Okay, so put in the calculator, ln 1 divided by 4.5, close parenthesis, and then divided by negative 1.2. 1.2534. So that's the answer. Okay, so the next one is similar, but instead of uh, adding, uh, multiplying 3 g to the something, you, there, is, there is a plus 1 also. So uh, use the idea of uh, isolating the exponent expression and number on the other side. So we do minus 1 first, minus 1. So we have 3 g to the negative 0.12x is equal to 21 and then divide by 3. Now this time I'm actually going to do it because 21 divided by 3 is exactly 7. So if it is a good number, you don't need rounding so you to divide. And then we do ln just like before. e to the negative 0.12x is equal to ln 7. So move the negative 0.12x due to log property. So I have negative 0.12x times ln e, which is 1, equal to ln 7. So x would equal to ln 7 divided by negative 0.12. So that's the answer. ln 7 divided by negative uh, 0.12. So I have negative 16. 0.2159. Okay, the next one is also an equation involving e, but you notice that this is e to the x, this is e to the 2x. I cannot just put them on two sides and uh, do ln to get rid of them. 
because there is a number also. So, but I know that e of x and two and e of two x are related in such a way that they are square of each other. So I will uh, use substitution u equal to e of x. So e square would be e of two x, right? Because it will be you square it is just multiplying. So this become u square plus two u minus eight. It becomes just a quadratic equation. So we can factor by diamond negative eight. And a two, so be four, negative two. So u plus four, u minus two equal to zero. So u equal to negative four, u equal to two. But we're not done yet. U is e of x because we have to solve for x. U e, e of x equal to negative four. Is it is it possible? Can e of something equal to a negative? It's not possible. So there's no solution. Uh, if you don't believe you can do ln, right? So ln e of x equal to ln negative 4. There's no, this is undefined, right? Not, not possible. So no solution on this size. e of x can never equal to a negative, but e of x equal to 2 is possible because uh, you would just do ln e of x equal to ln 2. And so x would equal to ln um, ln2, and that's, uh, what is ln2? ln2, put in the calculator, that's 0 0.6931. 0 0.6931, and that's the only solution. So this side doesn't have. Um, another one is uh, a, a e of x uh, in this equation, but it is in a denominator. Let's see how we can uh, work on it. Um, so we have 100 over 1 plus e of x. If I want to get rid of this denom denominator, I would multiply 1 plus e, e of x on both sides, right? Just remember, just, just treat it as an expression, 1 plus e of x. So this and this cancel, we'll have 100, you go to 1 times 1 plus e of x. So this is a 1, so if I multiply, it's just equal to 1 plus e of x. If it's something else, you would have to work on it. Now this is just like before, you have some e of x um, uh, being unknown, you want to solve for it. So I get rid of other stuff. So 99 equal to e of x. Again, we do ln, right? ln 99 because we want to get rid of the e. ln e of x. So the x can move out. ln e is 1, so that's x on this side is ln 99. So put in the calculator, ln 99 would be equal to 4.5951. 4.5951, that's the uh, approximate answer. Uh, LN99 is the exact answer. Mm, there's another one that involves factoring, right? I have e of 3x, e of 3x being the common factor. Uh, I don't have 2x, I don't have anything, so this is something that I factor out, and then I have 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So everything uh, is zero on this side, so we use zero product property, so that means e of 3x equal to zero, and 2x plus one equal to zero. Can I have e of 3x equal to zero? This is no solution. You can try put ln in, ln zero is undefined, right? So x would equal to negative one half, and that is the only solution. Um, so that would be uh, solving exponential equation part two. I'm going to do a uh, solve log equation now. Um, we'll go over what is the method of solving log equation first, and then I'll do the, uh, the example in, the, in another video. So uh, when we say we solve log equation, the, the unknown must be trapped inside the log function. So log of x plus b equal to c, do not do not minus b. Okay, do not do minus b. Um, um, so don't say that. Oh, okay, log x equal to c minus. This is wrong. Okay, so you cannot move things inside and outside of the log. You cannot divide things, um, etc. So um, that's one thing. So the only way to get rid of the log is use exponent because log and exponent are the inverse. So you want to cancel something, you use a function. So you do you in uh, exponent on both sides, then the log on this side will go away. Another thing that is special for log equation is 
Ah,、uh, the domain of log is always positive. So domain of the inside of a log is positive. So you should always check for extraneous solution when you are solving log equation. Okay. So what is the approach? So the approach is if the equation has the form of just、uh, log base b s equal to c, you can just do rewrite. So if your unknown is inside x is here, then you just rewrite、uh, b to the power c equal to s, and you are solved. Um, but if you have two log, the same base, you can use the one-to-one -one properties of log to solve because log function is one-to-one. -one. So if log of something equal to log of other things, the y is the same. That means the x is the same.、Um, but if you have multiple terms of log on both sides, you use log property to combine them before you can cancel the two log. So if you have three logs on this side and three log on this side, you combine them by Um, multiplying and divide, combining by multiplying and divide, and then you can cancel the log. So again, make it so that you have one log equal to the number, do rewrite or do exponential, or two log on two side and then cancel two side. Okay, and at the end, always check for extraneous solution. Step four, always check for extraneous solution. Let's do the first example. So this is eight log nine x equal to sixteen. So I have a number. I don't have second log. So I would、uh, want to isolate the log expression on one side, divided by eight, divided by eight. You you do rewriting after you you know. Now so you can rewrite it. You can say okay. So this is like this. So、um, I can either rewrite. So there's two way of doing it. You can rewrite a nine square. Is equal to x. Oh, x is equal to eighty-one. So this is one way. If you're very good at rewriting, the a second method is instead of rewriting, you can do、um, log base nine x equal to two. You say I want to cancel this, but so I'm going to do the exponent nine. Exponent nine on both sides, so nine to this, nine to this, so nine square, and so nine and then a log. This will cancel because you're doing an exponent and then a log. So this will be x and this will be nine square, which is eighty one. Okay, so、um, both method are okay. This is a rewriting method if you are very good at rewriting, and this is just use、uh, exponent on both sides. Okay, so、look at this. This says two ln three plus two x plus three equal to six. I can see that I only have one. My x, the x unknown, is inside this log, and all these are constants. So I'm just going to isolate my log. Right, three plus two x is equal to three. Oh, I still have the two, and then I have to divide by two. So remember to do any. If you are to do any rewriting or get getting rid of the log, it has to yeah I already divided by two equal to three over two. Okay. Um. So then I can do rewrite or I can do exponent on both sides. What exponent should I do so I can cancel the ln? What's the base? The base is e. So e of this and e of this. So e of ln no more three plus two x right. And then this would be just e of three over two, you see, or you can rewrite if you want to. So then I'm going to solve for x. X is equal to e of three over two minus three first, right? And then divided by two. So this is the answer. So if you put in the calculator, so that would be、uh, e to the power three divided by two, and then minus three. Uh, and then, so this is a parenthesis, or you have to pr press enter, and then the whole thing divided by two. So my answer is point seven four zero eight. Scientific calculator.、Um, okay, so I'm gonna、uh, do the third and the rest of the example in the next video.